What do you think? I really want your thoughts on this. This Diddy stuff has taken over. Taken over. Mm -hmm. Now people are kind of coming for Heather Thompson and they go, what did Heather Thompson know? Because she famously worked for Diddy, I think, for several years. Didn't she work for the clo his clothing line, which was called? Sean John. Yes. Wasn't it Sean John? Yeah. So people are coming after her what and saying, like, what did she know? Yeah. They want to know. I mean, which is kind of what people always do, right? With the Harvey Weinstein, they brought up pictures of him with, you know, Oprah Winfrey taking a photo, which, of course, you know, as you know, when you mingle with celebrities, right, you can be taking a photo with anyone. And then five years later, it turns out they're a pervert or whatever, you know, Diddy sex trafficker. So, you know, but she did work for him. So I understand why people want her take. Now, in the past, she said all positive things that he taught her work ethic and, you know, how hard you have to grind and all this stuff. Do we think uh, we'll be hearing more from Heather? Uh, I don't think so. But I love how we're dragging, you know, Bieber. Um, there are pictures with Leo and Leo's team has been very vocal that despite what it looks like, Leo wasn't involved in anything. Ashton Kutcher's email uh, interview has resurfaced where he's like, they're like, tell us one story from Diddy's uh, parties. And he's like, um, so let me, oh no, wait, I, I, act, I, I can't tell you about that. Hold on. Let me tell you. Oh, there's this other time. And he was being like, it wasn't staged. She was thinking, he's like, I actually, I can't tell you about that either. So it is resurfacing. Um, I love that we're actually asking, what does Heather Thompson know about Diddy? Heather Thompson and Diddy. I love how this in the zeitgeist of this pop culture moment with Diddy before he is sent away forever. I love that we're actually remembering that Miss Thompson, um, I should reissue the interview because I talked to Miss Thompson about Diddy. Oh, I got to find this. Oh, you God. should reissue because people are very, you actually should reissue because people are very curious. Because I'm going to reissue this. Uh -huh. There was a rumor that she had shut down her Instagram. Not true. What? Now you also heard, oh, yep. God. Now that, those rumors, people have been spreading these rumors. They did it about Pink, that Pink deleted every single one of her tweets. And I that was associated with Diddy. And she came out and she goes, guys, I deleted all my tweets back in February of this year. Which again is uh, like, I mean, but people do it because they're, you know, they want to make sure that, although lots of times people just go through and take pictures of your stuff and wait for you to mess up. But anyhow, oh, yes. Oh, long in the yes. So I don't know. I don't know why Pink did it, but it doesn't look like it's associated with Diddy in any way. People had said it about Usher, Usher. And, you know, because he Usher, said what? Something was hacked favorite. or something. Yeah. He said he was hacked. Usher famously lived with Diddy underage and has alluded to the fact that there was some wild stuff and he would never let his children stay there. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Diddy's going to jail for a long time. But but this is what I was asking you. Is it, are you surprised that, I mean, it really seems like he's gay, I think, right? I mean, there's all these men that he's allegedly had sex with. How does that stay secret i had really never heard the rumors i mean that... i have i have heard oh, the you rumors had? honestly oh, okay. like i'm not just saying that i've heard the rumors about diddy forever oh you had okay mm -hmm. i did well i always I knew something had. was up famously with mace because you know obviously diddy and mace like created some of the best hits back in the early aughts and uh, Mace has wanted nothing to do with him for a very long time and then became a pastor. And so you knew there was like a major falling out there, but you know, now everything's on the table. A lot of people think that Diddy what, was behind the murders of both Biggie and Tupac because of their fame and how good they were. And he knew he was never going to exceed that fame, their, their talent. And so he was behind both those murders. Well, this guy is a little, uh, you know, oh, I think it's all, I think it's all on the table. Yeah. And, you know, now of course, which makes the most sense is he has been a hardcore drug user for 15 years. Like he's such a drug addict, which to me, like it, what, hardcore drugs, like every, Coke, um, everything, everything you could possibly get your hands on crack, Coke, combination of it you know how um whitney would famously whitney houston would famously smoke blunts laced with coke because it was the high and the low and Everything. you people think i'm crazy because all i want to do is work every day i have to fight with friends i don't want to go out to dinner i want to just sit here and work i don't want to 
Isn't it good to just be addicted to something healthy? Isn't being addicted to work healthy? Sarah, when, I, when I'm in LA, guys, she wants love- a dinner on Wednesday at like 345. <laughs> now, I know you have kids and all this other shit, but some of us have a job. I don't know what is going on over there. Is there a secret sugar daddy? This is a job. No one can meet at three. I have friends that are like, could we have like lunch? I mean, do you want to come over and sit and have lunch? You did that. You came to my workspace in LA. Uh, You want to sit down and go out to lunch? Are you, I would hyperventilate during the week. No, no. Are you, are, before we move on, are you like into this Diddy stuff or are you just like, okay. No, I'm, 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 I wasn't in. in, I wasn't into Epstein. I wasn't into Ghislaine Mac, what, Maxwell. I was definitely not into R. Kelly. I just filtered. When I'm not into something, I filter it all out. I'm so in. I'm really? so all into this Diddy. Well, there are the rumors about the gay, you know, now it's like, right, was there underage boys as well? He's in prison. It's like this famous prison, like, you know, if you're from like the New York area, that's where Epstein was. Like the conditions are supposed to be very harsh. I mean, yeah, he's not happy with the conditions. Shockingly, the latest I read is like last week or whatever, he's not eating. He's afraid of being poisoned. Oh, that's There's- probably drug withdrawal. You know what I mean? He's probably going crazy. Although you can get plenty of drugs in prison. So I would imagine if he is such a hardcore drug user, like they're saying, I'm sure he's probably already getting his fix. But Listen, maybe- my friend, Martha Stewart, I mean, if you have money inside of the slammer, you're set because you can just have your fucking people wire that to someone's family. Listen, you go up to the biggest, like, like I said, if I go to the prison, it's all knee pads. I'm sucking everyone's dick. Like, this is an equal opportunity. There's no, like, who's my boyfriend? It's like, I'm just going to, like, when you need some, you come to my cell and I will give you immediate relief and then you will all protect me. But another way to do it is, you know, the biggest guy that's about to slit your throat in the back room, you know, all of a sudden there's like, you know, a $25,000 deposit into his wife's account on the outside. And the problem with that, Diddy, if you want my advice is, 25,000 ain't going to stay 25,000. So you're going to do that and you're going to be protected for a week and then they're going to want 50,000. And then the next thing you know, you're going to be like, you know, really? Because now we want 200,000 or your time, bro. But they're also saying, you know, if he does do something to himself, like Epstein did, they're like, don't believe the rumors that he uh, was depressed and it was his time. You got to find out who did it. So there's a lot of, no, I'm in. Girl, I am so into this. Right. Well, maybe I we ought mean, to do a Diddy special then. And well, you really know why? Everybody's because every, I mean, apparently J-Lo's on edge. And oh, the newest thing, Mila Kunis, last week I read, she moved out. I need to distance my 